I'm all spell. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. Look what I just did. We're about to do another airport standby. I gotta be there at 1.30. And right now it's like, I think, I don't know what the f what is in there? Like, what is it? Anyway, it's almost one o'clock. So I'm like, it's 12.51. So I'm like 39 minutes early. So I'm gonna go ahead and get me some um, Chipotle and then go to the crew room. But that's where I gotta sit at while I'm on this airport standby. Remember y'all, it's five hours. This is my fourth day on reserve. Yesterday I was on reserve and I didn't get used. I sat at home all day. Sometimes when you're on reserve, you do sit at home. And that's what I did, I sat at home. So today I got airport standby. I'm about to walk in here and I will holler at y'all when I get inside the crew room. When they say she get it from her mama, I'ma say you got it right, body. Okay, y'all, so I'm in this parking lot for real. We don't park in this parking lot. We park in a parking lot that's outside this parking lot. But you gotta walk through this parking lot to get to this park. And I always say, like, like, not scared, but like, something right happened to me, especially when it's dark outside or whatever. Y'all don't mind my lashes. I got uh, eye surgery coming up on Monday and I can't wear lashes, so I'm just letting them all fall out. But anyway, yeah, that's the airport right there. We walk in a little bit and get in. But yeah, that parking lot just be so scary. Like, it'd be like, is something really happening to me? I'm in here till 6.30. I don't know, maybe they will use me, maybe they won't. It's bright and shiny skies today. It ain't no weather or nothing like that. So I might go home, but I am good for three days. So they might give me a three day. Who knows, we'll see. So the, the escalator is broke. I just almost walked onto the escalator and I didn't realize it was broke. That's what I get for being on my phone. So we're gonna take the elevator down because it's broken. It's always something broke. That's cool though. Hey y'all, so as soon as I got to the airport lounge, as um, soon as I got to the crew lounge, I'm sorry. I was, my report started at, my airport reserve started at 1.30 and they called me on the phone. At 1 32, tell so my son you got a three day, you going to um, Long Beach, and then my overnight tomorrow is going to be in Boise. So I wasn't even here for two minutes, and they just, I wasn't even here five minutes, and they just called me. But I am the B flight attendant, so I'm in the back. And I just finished doing all my checks. I did get my Chipotle, which I have not eaten yet, and I need to eat it because y'all know when Chipotle get a little, a little like, oh, it's going to be hitting the way it's supposed to hit. And this Chipotle, I already tasted it. And this Chipotle really is doing something. But anyway, yeah, so three legs. We going to Denver. I don't have no paperwork back here. He said that he put it back here. But I'm going to Denver. I don't know where I'm going today. And I know I end up in Long Beach. So I will talk to y'all when I can. Or matter of fact, I'm going to just probably give y'all a little montage when I'm in the air or something like that. I don't know. And then the girl that's back here with me when we doing our service, she real cool. So it should be a good three day. And then I'm off. Vegas is always cool because they got so I didn't the get, so inside I went, of the airport, so which is like, I think it's like the only airport with money slots inside of it. I will holler at y'all when I get there. Oh, yeah. Not when I get there, oh, yeah. I get there like I've been there already. When I get to the hotel. I'm already on my closure, y'all can see. Me and my crew about to go to some kind of like beach situation. I don't really know what it is, but I'm about to go see what, it, what it's about. I'm kind of tired, but you know, he only like live once. So I'm gonna go with them. It's only 10 o'clock here on the West Coast and it's one o'clock on the East Coast. So I'm tired and I've been up since five o'clock cause like I don't really know why I woke up early this morning, but I was up early. But anyway, let me get y'all a room tour real quick. This, this hotel room is kind of basic. It's kind of like, eh, it's not all that. And the bathroom definitely ain't all that. 
like when you see this type of thing this little it's that they give me like hotel motel i don't care what y'all say but that's what they give me okay and yeah so i'm about to go down head downstairs i'm gonna take y'all with me but it's gonna be on my phone okay so we finna go I don't really know what's going on or what type of event that I'm about to go to, but we finna go because I'm always down for the vibes. I'm really about to go. I already went in my room like, yeah, I'm not going. And then I had to sit the fuck and throw it. Like, girl, get up and go. What you not going for? Like, you can sleep that long time here. Of course, I'm the first one down here. Of course. Supposedly, like, what did you say it has, like, what is it, algae in it? Yeah. It's an algae glue that causes the water to glow in the dark. And we've been trying to see it, but I don't know, like, it's not happening. But we do see that this water is blue. So we just finished going to the beach to see if we can get, what do we call it? Bio, bioluminous, bioluminescent, and it didn't work out. But we about to go see what the oh, night can bring can us see. and see like where the wind blow us. This little ghost town on a Friday. <laughs> I don't know what it's giving, but we gonna see what we can get into. If not, we'll just take it home. We'll take it to the hotel. I always say home when I'm away. Home. It's not home. Home for the night. Yeah, home. Oh, it look like it might be some bobs down here. Yeah. Maybe. In California, you don't walk when no. it's not time to walk. <laughs> No, you don't. <laughs> you wait. <laughs> and it's actually pretty cold too. It's cold. It's like 50 degrees. Y'all, I have a YouTube channel. This is for my okay. YouTube. All right. Hi. And so, yeah. So we 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 just what the hell? We want to just see. So we found the people, like folks out here. So we about to see what we can get into. <laughs> what the? What the hell? Good morning, y'all. Uh, good morning. Well, good afternoon, actually, because it's afternoon and I just woke up. It is. Let's see. It's 1:35 here on the east west coast. And it's 4.35. Dang, I really had to sit up there and do the math. That's crazy. Anyway, it's 4.35 on the, um, on the East Coast. So, I'm on East Coast time. But, uh, I only got two legs today. I think we're going to Oakland and then Oakland to Boise. So, I'm about to take a shower, do my skincare, take my vitamins, and then, um, probably edit some YouTube videos for real because I do need to edit a video and get it get it right. I haven't even like brushed my teeth or nothing. Like I ain't done nothing. I just been in the bed since I opened my eyes. So yeah. I will talk to y'all a little bit. Okay hey y'all I'm fully dressed <laughs> I am fully dressed and ready to head out. Um, like I said, today it's only two legs. I gotta be downstairs in 13 minutes for real. Can't be late. I want your left. I ain't put no lotion on my elbows. What in the hell? Oh, I must do that. Can't be walking around like it. Hey, she. I'm so hungry. I haven't eaten anything. Really. I had to be over. That's about it. I forgot I got this popcorn right here. Who be expensive? Who be expensive in California too? Like a Caesar salad, 20, $22. Like what? It's crazy. It ain't even no chicken in it or no meat. Like what kind of, like what, what? what is this? This is crazy. I haven't opened up this window all day today. It's probably beautiful outside, let's see. Wow. All this time I had this beer. Look at that. That's crazy. 
Ain't even open up my window. Anyway, y'all. I gotta head out. Be downstairs. It's a beautiful day outside. I should have went to the pool. I should have did something. I was in this room all day. I didn't make one move. I was so exhausted. It be like that sometimes. Like, you be so dang on tired that you don't want to do nothing. And people don't be understanding that. Like, bro, I'm tired. Some of y'all was asking me, like, where I got my shoes from. So these shoes is from um, Clark's, for real. And they, like, real, they comfortable. They real comfortable. Like, comfortable, I don't know what. I can't have these on all day. Even though I don't serve in these, I take these off. Once we start serving, and when service is over, I put my, I put them back on. I put these flats on for service. These is terrible. I need some new ones, y'all. Don't judge me. But yeah, let me roll out of here. I will talk to y'all later. So we just got to Oakland and we got some time on the ground. That was a fairly easy flight. It was only like 80 something people and I only had like 10 drinks, I think. So it was real easy. This is my favorite plane. I love this plane so much. This is our newer plane. This is our Max 8. We got 737, 700, we got 737, 800, and we got 737, next eight. So this is my favorite thing, because this is so new and it's so fresh, like, look at this. Anyway, so we got like 130 something pages on the way to Boys and Yards Cold Hotel. We went from 70 degrees, 75 degrees in Long Beach, and we about to go to 16 degrees in Boys and Idaho. And for real, for real, that's not bad compared to a lot of other places. They be negative five, negative 15, it's cold when it's on warning is like everywhere. I, like, I think like something like 600 flights canceled today because of just too low temperatures. You can't be outside, dangerous conditions, can't fly and it can't work in there. So a lot of stuff canceled. But yeah though, so today was an easy day. We on our last flight, we only had two, like I said. And then, yeah, so we get into the hotel at a pretty decent time. I'm gonna eat, cause I need some food. I haven't really eaten today. I had a yogurt, and I'm about to have another one. And then um, I had some popcorn, so yeah. It's so, it's, we're, we're okay. And y'all don't mind my lashes. I'm about to say I'm about to get, I'm about to get eye surgery. So I can't get these refilled, or trying to take them off, actually. For the surgery but i don't know they said that i don't gotta have them all off but just don't get them refilled and yeah so here i am i was gonna see y'all later oh it's snowing for real snowing for real outside i mean Boise, Idaho, y'all, this hotel is like, this hotel is giving, it's really giving what it's supposed to give. Like, first of all, okay, first of all, let me y'all a little over and tour, okay? So, that's me. That's the bathroom. The door. A mirror, hey. And then, like, everything else. Okay, TV. So, I love when like hotels be having robes, like you just be giving what it's supposed to give. I be feeling like I'm like, like rich, like rich girl vibes. <laughs> anyway, then it's the other thing. So, the restaurant usually like when they when the restaurant downstairs is done, when they done doing dining in, usually I like put the order in and then come back down there and pick it up. They deliver the room service, like, they just deliver it to the room, like, all of that. Like, that's what it's, that's what it's giving. I'm going to show y'all what I got. Let's see what I got. This is the, the, the poutine. Y'all know what poutine is? Poutine is a, a Canadian dish. It's basically, like, put in, and you got fries, and you got gravy. You just basically put in whatever you want for real. And this is poutine, it got fish in there, cheese curds, all that stuff, gravy, cheese curds, or whatever else. You can put so much stuff in the poutine. That's why I miss going to Canada. Now, I was at my old airline, I used to go to Canada all the time. My current airline does not go to Canada. Oh, y'all, it's snowing cats and dogs for real outside, too. The drive here was just crazy. Like, I seen like three cars, 
get stuck. I never call ran into a pole. Like usually when it's snow, I'm not used to just being out in the snowstorm. Usually if it's snow, I'm in the house or something like that. So like I was just like, oh my God, like all these cars are stuck, cars is running in the in the stuff. Like what the hell? So everybody always be like, Idaho is a nice hotel and they wasn't lying. Like this is nice. I can dig it. I can definitely dig this. I can come back. Oh, and this is my first time in Idaho. So now I'm 46 of 50 stays. Can we get a hand clap? I still got Washington State, Hawaii, Alaska, North Dakota, and South Dakota to go to. So I'm I'm 45 of 50 states, my bad. So yes. Yeah. I'm gonna eat this food and then if I don't holler at y'all tonight, I will holler at y'all tomorrow. Okay. Okay, hey you guys, so we are in the airport meeting. I said the airport. We in the lobby. Waiting for our man to come and pick us up. We got three flights today. Boise to Denver, Denver to Jacksonville, Jacksonville to Baltimore. It's weather everywhere, so hopefully we make it to Baltimore. I need to make it to Baltimore. Or maybe we just cancel and still end up making it to Baltimore. My biggest thing is that I want to make it to Baltimore and make it home, you know? So yeah. So, yeah, I'll let y'all know what's, what's popping and how the day go. Oh, yeah. Imagine us being stuck in the snow. Oh, my God. Keep your wheel straight. Back or forward. Y'all, we just got stuck in the snow. You're good. Oh. Y'all, she said we was going to get stuck in the snow in literally God, two really seconds. We Here we are. We stuck we in the snow. Literally like, for real. Like, we, for real. This is crazy. <laughs> no, he got it. He got it. He's strong. They want to go brief. I'll be back. So I just did all my checks. I cleaned everything. And then we about to board. So I will talk to y'all when I get to Denver. So we just got to Denver. And remember I told y'all that I had two flights. Denver to Jacksonville, Jacksonville to Baltimore. But they canceled them. So now we sitting in Denver's cool lounge. Which is nice, you know? I just got some popcorn. And I just... You want some popcorn? And I just warmed up my food, my little girls from last night. And you know, we about to just sit here and see what they do. Don't know what they're going to do. But I need to go home to Baltimore. Just things to do tomorrow. So, I will give y'all an update in a, few, in, a, in a little bit. Okay, y'all. I thought I was going home, but I'm not. So we stranded. The weather is crazy, so we're not going to Baltimore. This is not the end. <laughs> we're going to Cleveland. And then we're going to be in Cleveland for like five hours. And then we're going to so we gonna land in Cleveland like almost one in the morning. Like, no, like almost midnight. Is it almost midnight? Midnight. midnight? Like 11.30, yeah. 12 o'clock. And then we got to be back up probably for a van shuttle for like our report is at I 5. Think our, I think our report is at 5. 5.30. I think it's 5.30. 5.30. Our, we got a report at 5.30. So, we probably going to have a van time at 5 a.m. So, it's giving 
five hours. Okay? But we get something called stranded pay. Where you get paid for all, for the hours that you are out past what you were supposed to be out. And this is all due to the extremely cold weather. You know. So we've been here in Denver for like... We got here. We got to Denver at like one... We got to Denver at like one something. Yeah, like 1.45, 2 o'clock. And right now, it's almost 6 something. And we about to do this day here to Cleveland. And we're going to do the day here to Baltimore tomorrow morning. So, yeah. I'm not feeling this, but it is what it is. It is what it's going to be. It's part of the job. It's part of the job. So, you know, y'all trying to come be flight attendants. It's what it's like. You might not make it home. <laughs> Don't make no plans. You know. But anyway, I will talk to y'all when I get to Cleveland. Okay. What's up, y'all? I look so tired because I'm exhausted. It's been an eventful three day, turned four day, because I got stranded in Denver. And okay, so let me break down like what it means to be stranded. So when you're stranded, it means that the company cannot get you home, or can I get you back to base? No way, ship form. So they gotta get they, they they have to get you as close as they possibly can to base so that they don't have to pay you for stranded pay like a whole lot of hours if you get what I'm saying. So for example, if I would have stayed in Denver last night and would have just they hit it here, they would have they would have had to pay me more hours for stranded pay because Denver cause, oh okay, well, because I would have got put in a hotel earlier yesterday instead of so late and that was when my stranded pay would have started. So, the fact that my strength pay didn't start till I got to um, Cleveland, and then I landed here in Baltimore this morning at 7.30, that was less money that they had to pay me. So, they sent me to Cleveland, got to my hotel room like 1 in the morning, and they had a band time of 5 a.m. I did not go to sleep. I fell asleep for like 30 minutes, and that was it. And so I'm exhausted. I'm extremely exhausted. I got surgery on my eyes later on today. So I need to go home and get my stuff together. Go take a little nap or something like that. Um, when you on reserve, you get stranded pay and you get a day off of your next reserve block. Either the first first day of the reserve block or the last day of the reserve block. Um, when you're a line holder, line holder means you got a set schedule, you're not on reserve, which some months I do, some months I don't. Because I'm not in that top, y'all, my nose running, I'm so sorry. Because I'm not in that top 35%. When you're in that top 35% at my company, then you get a line every month, unless, of course, you want reserve. But anyway, back to what I was saying. When you are a line holder, you just get the stranded pay. And that's it. You don't get the day off, the, the extra paid day off and all that. So yeah, it's been great. I finally made it home. I only got two more days reserved later in the week and then I'm off for the rest of the month if I don't pick up. So yeah, um, I'm, ex I'm, I'm, I'm real exhausted, like I'm so tired. This is crazy, this was insane. It's freezing cold, I came out here. I came out to my car with, I came out to my car with snow on it. It's like snow, yeah. So anyway, thank y'all for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, sorry for looking so rough right now. I'm tired. Like, yeah, it's cold. I'm gonna go home with myself together. Don't forget to share this this YouTube with your mom and your cousin. I holla, bye.